QZ Asset Management. Did these guys register with the SEC? Anyways, all of that and more coming up in just a moment. Stay tuned. Welcome to the channel. Uh, please find that big red button, subscribe, and also click on the bell notification icon. That way you won't miss out on any important information on this channel. What I do most of the time, as per request by my viewers, is to review income, opportunities, systems, platforms, and even training products. Anything to do with uh, making money online. Okay. Also, uh, if you are looking for a legitimate and lucrative way to make a full-time income online or even passive income streams, uh, you can go at any time throughout this video, just go underneath this video, click on the first link in the description box below to get access to my number one recommended platform to help you do just that. Here we are, uh, United States Securities and Exchange Commission. Okay, what I found so far is a pre-registration. There's another system out there called the Novatech, Novatech FX. They did the same thing, but they never finished. The problem is um, anyone can start a pre-registration but then they have to keep submitting documents and then they will have to allow a US securities and exchange agent to actually come to your office and audit your company all of your financial documents they have to meet with the owners right um, this is the problem that's why a lot of these uh, MLM investment systems None of them are registered, right? And once they have a network marketing comp plan, they can't register. They, they can start. There's, there's many systems that started the process. Even the Hyperverse, they had a Ryan Zhu. You guys remember him? Um, he started the process with Sam Lee or maybe some of the top MLM recruiters in the U.S. Started the process, but they never finished. Same thing here. So what you guys should do is you just type in U.S. Uh, first Actually, just type in QZ Asset Management SEC, and it'll Google should take you to this website sec.government, and you could look over it for yourself. Do your own due diligence and research. Think for yourself. A lot of uh, people are doing a lot of smoke and mirror shows and fooling a lot of people, and they keep doing it over and over. Actually, just do your own due diligence and research. Even if, if it's anything that I say, always, you know, do your own due diligence and research. They did use the name Blake Young, right? Um, but you could put any name. It's the SEC. I don't even think they're taking this, this serious until they would actually finish the registration, starting the registration process. So what I'm guessing here, right, this is my personal opinion, I'm thinking that that QZ asset management is being heavily promoted in the US uh, and some of the top promoters are hoping to score some low-hanging fruit by fooling their victims and saying hey it's legitimate it's registered with the SEC that is most likely what happened they use Blake Young you could even put a, start this with a fake name I don't know if this gentleman here is actually Blake Young or if it's a fake identity but there is no digital footprint. It could be his real name. But there's no digital footprint showing you that he's an expert. And the same thing with Ryan Zhu and Sam Lee of the Hyperverse, right? And look what happened. They were showing all kinds of professional images. They do pro look professional. This gentleman here looks very professional. Um, Ryan Zhu looks very professional. That is why uh, with Hyperverse, they scammed so many victims. Now... Top traffic to QZ Asset Management. Number one, South Africa. Number two, Philippines. Number three, Congo. Number four, Nigeria. Number five, Italy. Uh, the big regulators here, I don't know about Nigeria. I don't know if Nigeria even takes these investment scams that serious or Congo. Uh, there's probably tons of scams floating around those two countries. But Italy, Italy does, right? Um, so they would need to register with, with South Africa. Uh, where would you register with South Africa? With the FSCA. See this financial uh, sector conduct authority. This is the financial uh, securities regulator. 
So QZ Asset Management is prom promising you guys easy, quick money, uh, ROI, like high ROI, right? They need to register with the FSCA and then the Philippines SEC, right? As well as finish the registration with um, the U United States SEC. So as I said, we'll close off with this idea. Any Tom, Dick, or Harry can start the registration because they did with the hyperverse let me just type that in Company register search search. Maybe they had another hyper fund. Okay, sorry, it wasn't the hyperverse. They had it under hyper fund, right? <clears throat> Do you guys remember what happened with the hyper hyper fund hyperverse exit scammed? Um, majority of participants still haven't been paid uh, for over a year right um, with this guy here and Sam Lee but look at that they started uh, registering with the SEC see it says SEC up there for hyper fund but they didn't finish so any Tom Dick or Harry can start pretending that QZ is legit but any Tom Dick and Harry can't finish because in order to finish they're gonna send agents to your business and your place has to be in the US. I did check out the address. Go back here for one second. Um, anyone running an investment scam is not going to give the proper uh, registration. You, could, you could, could put a fake name, you can put someone else's address just to start the, the uh, preliminary registration as these guys did um, for the SEC with QZ Asset Management. Okay, QZ Global Limited, it's one of the shell companies. But it's finishing. So the SEC is not even looking at this yet until they put they they finished the registration. Hopefully you guys follow me here. But the address 25 First Avenue Southwest South Dakota. Let me just expand that. They have a lawyer's office there, 25, let me go back there. Yeah, 25 First Avenue, that's kind of funny. 25 First Avenue, Southwest Watertown, that's the registration uh, address. These scammers, man, they are, I don't know, they are pretty wild and crazy, the stuff that some of them try to do just to pretend they're legit. See, that's the, uh, the building, the building beside Empire's Pizza. That's where they're claiming QZ Asset Management is. is. Right, QZ asset, asset Management, everyone knows they're not even in the U.S. I think they're in China. So they have a lawyer firm and Keycraft. It's a wholesaling company and uh, a lawyer's firm in the registration that they started that they won't finish and they can't finish it um they can't finish it because they can't show that a network marketing or mlm compensation plan like he starts in uh, starts recruiting brings two people and they bring two people and they bring two more people and so on and so forth they can't finish they're going to get either if someone went to the sec i said they in in previous videos that they could get escorted off the property they could or laughed out of the building or maybe even arrested if they are Americans trying to register a Ponzi scheme anyways check that out go to go to um, Google type in SEC or, or QZ asset management SEC anyways guys hopefully you enjoyed this video do your own due diligence and your own research and your own thinking 
Anyways, uh, if you didn't subscribe, make sure to do so and also click on the bell notification, guys. Bell notification. Lastly, if you are looking for a system to help you make income online, be sure to check out my number one recommended opportunity underneath this video. First link in the description box below. Anyways, I will see you on the next one. Take care.